Mm -hmm. mm. It says, do not eat with the left hand. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're gonna eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no click bait. Hey guys. Hey guys, it's Steph. And Tasha, and we are back with another video. Before we get into the video, I wanna ask you guys to please thumbs this video up if you like it. If you're new here, welcome to the family. Thank you for subscribing, and if you've been here before, welcome back. My baby's gonna tell you what we're doing today. Okay, so guys, this is highly requested, and we finally got to it. So today we are doing trying Afghan food for the first time. Very first time. I'm, I'm very excited about this. Me guys. too. I'm ready to dig in. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, then let's get into the video all right guys so we're back so before we dig in i think we should tell them a little bit of something about what we have oh okay so okay. this this is the bolani 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 it's a turnover filled with potatoes chopped scallions and special seasonings and they usually eat it with yogurt this looks so good i can't wait to try that here's the yogurt okay the next thing we have this is montu Montu, you That's dumpling stuff with ground beef, sauteed onions, yogurt, and vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we have um, chicken and beef kebab. I think everybody knows what that is. This is called teka beef. Okay. Oh, teka beef. Okay. Yeah. This is a national dish, dish, you guys. It starts with a Q. Kwabali. Yeah. I'm sorry. Kubani. I didn't write it down. And then the last thing we have the... It has carrots, raisins. It did come with lamb, but we didn't get the lamb and basmati rice and special seasonings all right so we're about to dig in i think we should try this yeah first. i think so too all right now we know their tradition is to eat with their hands you guys mm -hmm. um but i'm gonna go with the fork for this one but how do you eat the rice i don't know i guess you're supposed to use the bread i'm not sure you guys can tell us mm. that's good mm -hmm. i don't like raisins you guys so I'm just going past the raisins. She doesn't even like raisins by themselves. No. But make sure I don't get it red. You know what? I'm going to try it with a raisin. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to try it with a raisin. Don't be mad at me if my face looks <laughs> like it always looks when you try something new. <laughs> it's really good. It's I don't good. like having a raisin in my mouth. but Wait, you like it? Mm -hmm. Whoa. With the oh raisin, it, it gives it a little it's something. Okay. Let me try it. I didn't have a raisin in my first bite either. Or I don't think I have really any carrots. It either. gives it a little something, a little sweet, nice little touch. It's good. Good job, you guys. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's so, it's not a strong. I like it too. I don't know. It's, it's not salty at all. It's just nice seasonings in it. It's really good, mm -hmm. you guys. It's yeah. really it's fragrant. Yes. That's exactly the yeah. thought, thought I, I had. Yeah. Not it. So uh, we need to move over to Bolani. Okay. Need to try Bolani. Yep. Whew. I'm gonna try dipping it, and I don't do yogurt. I do yogurt, but not with my food. But I'm gonna do it today. Mhm. Mm mmm. I like it. What? I don't like the yogurt. I like to mm, try it with this. Mm. Okay. I like this without anything on it. Let me try it with my rice. I'm trying with yogurt and the. We're not sure what the sauce is. The green one? Mm. Well, it's very tangy. I like this. I like this rice, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rice is surprisingly delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. We were a little scared to get that way, y'all. We can't lie. Mm. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Let me try a little bit of. Mm -mm. I don't know. No. What are you trying? The black rice? Mm -mm. Oh, 
Mm-hmm. It's perfect for you. You know, like, mm -hmm. so. What is this? I didn't even see what that was. That was a side order of this. Oh. So this came on the side of the kebab plate. It looks like chickpeas. Yes. And maybe potatoes. And I even see cucumber in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like it. This is so different. The, the flavors are mm -hmm. something I've never had. Mm -hmm. Me too. Together. Mm -hmm. Want to try a dumpling? Absolutely. This you got to eat with your hands, baby. Now this is... Are those lentils on top? They look like they are. You want to grab one? It said ground beef. beef. It looks like lentils on top, but they don't say that in the thing. It says ground beef and vegetables. I don't even Maybe know. they just didn't put the ground beef. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. Mm. Has a lot of onion in it. Which I love. I love onion. Mm. Okay. Can you have me a napkin? Okay. So my review of that is I thought it was gonna be more flavorful. You know? To me it wasn't, it didn't pop in my mouth and I go, wow, what is that? Um, you know, it was flavorful to me. I didn't like the flavor though. Mm. I didn't hate it. I kind of was like, oh, okay. But yeah, I thought that was gonna be a lot more flavorful than that. So it could be the place though, you guys. So I would definitely try that again somewhere else. This bread is good. Taste mm -hmm. the bread. It's just good. Let's see. It's a mix between a bread and a cracker. cracker. Mm -hmm. It's good. Ooh, I really like this, y'all. It's funny. I really mm -hmm. like this. That beef kebab is really good. Mmm. Mmm. And at least that. Now that that is flavorful. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mmm. I'm, I'm trying to wrap something. I need to wrap, y'all. So if you guys are new to our channel, when we do these cultural things, we normally eat first, discuss the food, and then we'll talk. Yeah, you know, talk to you guys a little bit about what we've learned about the country. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, our beef is good. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay. This is some good food, y'all. Mm -hmm. I can do it without the dumplings. Can you put a little rice? I'll give you. I'll trade you some bulani for okay. some kubali. Kuba okay. Kabuli. There are all the raisins. You <laughs> are Thanks, babe. Mm. Mm -hmm. We love your food. Oh, and Zara. Hey, Zara. <laughs> you gotta give a special shout out. Hey, sister. Zara. Special shout out to Zara, who has been dying for us to try Afghan food. Thank you so much for suggesting it. We love it. We love it. Mm, 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 mm. What am I looking for? <laughs> I don't know. This is really good. Now, Stephanie, you mentioned something about eating with your hands. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew. They say only the right hand, too. Really? Mm hmm. Okay. Mm. That meat is so good. Let mm -hmm. me try the chicken. Is the chicken this good? Mm hmm. Okay. I want to eat a lot of these bologna, but I don't want to get full. I can't help it. I want this. I love bread. <laughs> So to eat with the hands, I would assume we gotta use the bread, right? You just get the bread, get a piece of meat, and scoop it up. Yeah. I wanna try like meat with the I feel like I've seen this dish before. This meat is so good. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's halal. That's one thing we don't really know about. So if you know what it means, if you only eat halal or you eat halal or you even know what it means, let us know in the comments. If you haven't had Afghan food, go try it. Mm -mm. It's definitely different. 
definitely wake up your taste buds. I'm looking at this beef, realizing that there's only three that they gave up. <laughs> Y'all know I get my way. It is so good. No, I'm over here saving beef. Look. Oh wow. Two <laughs> got beef pieces. I'm waiting to be eaten. I hope I'm supposed to be eating with my hands. If you guys know any Afghan traditions, please put them in the comments. We love to learn more. And what one thing I want to know is for Afghan people who don't live in Afghanistan, do you guys eat the traditional way in your homes? Like, I know, um, but they usually sit, sit on the floor. Mm -hmm. It seems very uh, welcoming. Like, to sit on the floor, it just seems so, like, inviting and so comfortable. And, yeah, like, it's, it's like connecting more with the people for some reason. Because you're closer. When you're yeah. at a table, you're kind of further away. Right. When you're, and then you're sharing the food. Right. I don't know. I think that's I like that. And then um, they have like the pretty pillows. It just looks so pretty. Yeah. Like, yeah, I love that. We were going to do that, you guys, but we we didn't know how the camera was going to be set up the right, right way. So we didn't want to mess up the video. Yeah. But I would love to eat the traditional way. I would love to eat the rest of this beef. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a better piece of beef in my right. life. Okay. I wish I knew what they marinated it in or seasoned it with because it is so good. Mm. We need to go to Zara's house. <laughs> Make us a plate, Zara. We'll be okay. We want this tech of beef. Mm -hmm. this, this is good. Really good. The chicken is good too. Mm hmm. I believe though that um, in Afghanistan, the more popular meat is lamb, you guys. Mm -hmm. However, neither one of us are very fond of lamb. So I don't want to get meat that we were just going to waste. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like Tasha, I don't think likes it at all. That's why we didn't get lamb in this. Yeah, I don't like lamb at all. Mm -hmm. And I've had lamb one time mm -hmm. at the fair and oh. I liked it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've only had it a few times where I liked it, so yeah, I didn't want to be over here wasting food and stuff. We're, this, start, we're certainly not wasting this. Mm, 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 mm. I'll get through two thumbs up for me. It's time to tell you guys what we learned about the Afghan, the Afghan culture, but we still eat. All right. As soon as I can stop eating, I will do it. If you guys have an opportunity to try this food, please do. And let us know what you guys think. And if there are any other dishes you guys think we should try, please put that in the comments. We are limited here in America. We actually couldn't even find that many Afghan restaurants as it is. This was the only one, one, wasn't it? I found one, but it was far. It was like we would have to drive an hour or something away. So, like, like I said, we're very limited on our hour. Um, offerings so we have to get what they what they offer you guys so don't get mad if we don't have the things you guys really love in afghanistan we would love to try what you guys are eating but we get we only have so many options okay so well, first of all the capital of afghanistan is kabul oh, so kabul. this is called Kab okay Bakashi. that's the national game that that's played and two player two player teams try to catch a goat while riding a horse you guys oh I my god I would love to do that. That sounds so fun to me. I mean, I don't want to hurt the goat. I don't know what they yeah. did. Yeah, I don't think they hurt it. I, that sounds fun though. That is fun. They say it's a really tough sport. Buzkashi. Buzkashi. Uh, I want to do that, y'all. Me too. Come on. So I wonder if it's like, like how um, we have actual teams mm -hmm. here. Like if they really, like if it's really something like that. Or is it like more of a hobby thing? Oh, you mean a real sport? Yeah. It says that it's a national, I think it's a national game. Oh, well then yeah. Like, do you really be like training for this? Probably. Wow. That sounds, I, I'm going to look that up because I want to see it. <laughs> right. But yeah, that's fun. Okay. So something different than um, the U.S. at least is the New Year is celebrated on March 21st. Okay. Instead of January 1st. 
And they call it Naros. No, Naros. No 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 and they have a big festival. It says thousands of people gather in the city of Mazar e Sharif. You want to read it? No, you are looking like it. <laughs> no, I'm just looking. Yeah, so that's fun. Like, out here, we all celebrate New Year's, but I feel like it's not like a huge community celebration. It's not. You, you go out to like a, a club or your friends having a party, but it's not like the city of Los Angeles. Uh huh. They actually say the people travel across Afghanistan to this one place. So we're not traveling to one place to celebrate the new year with everybody else in the United States. Well, I think that's dope as hell. I love a lot of the traditions of other cultures. I feel like other cultures have many more traditions than we have. You think so? Yeah, I do. Like what traditions do we have? Black Friday? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like our um, traditions are community oriented to me. You mean Christmas? Oh, that's a holiday. But even that's not community or it's family oriented, but not community. You yeah. know, bringing the community together. We need more of that. Yeah. Um, let's see. They say poetry night is celebrated. Uh, I'm sorry. They celebrate poetry night on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's just the thing in the city of Heret. Okay. So it says people of all age groups gather there to share modern and ancient verses of poetry. I love this. This is the kind of stuff that just makes your heart just you mm -hmm. makes you feel warm. I think Stephanie wants to move to Afghanistan, you guys. <laughs> I want a community like that though, you know? Yeah. Where we all gather in a place and then we talk about ancient stuff. Yeah. That's amazing. I love that. So another thing which we have found that's been similar with a lot of the cultures, they um always give people gifts. Gifts are a means of strengthening the relationship between visitor and host. And visitors can carry a small gift for the host when inviting for food. I I remember it says gifts are a between a visitor and his or her host, the visitors can carry a small gift for the host. I had a patient one time, they were, it was an Afghan family, I was taking care of their mother. And I remember upon leaving, the daughter, she was an adult, but she was the daughter of the woman, offered me some um, baklava, I think that's what it was. Don't kill me if I'm wrong, but I think it was baklava. And I, I denied it. I was like, oh no, thank you, I'm fine. And she insisted. She was like, no, you must sit down, you must eat this, try it. And so I could kind of feel her vibe and I kind of felt like she was kind of telling me telepathically that this is what I do and you should accept, accept it. I just felt that way. So I sat down, I ate it, it was good too. She, gave, she even offered me a cup of milk <laughs> and you guys know I love milk, but I was like, no, I, I'm okay. But um, yeah, I didn't take it. But um, yeah, she she was so nice, and I think that's probably something that's in you know in the culture. I love the whole gift thing. I think it's so fun to give people stuff, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be anything expensive. You know, you go yeah. into somebody's house. I like to bring stuff that I know the person likes. Yeah. So uh, once I get to know people, and I know, let's say they like um, t-shirts. Yes. Yeah. They like t-shirts. I'll try or a certain type of t-shirt or a certain animal. Mm -hmm. If I see a little trinket. Two dollars, I'll get it, and just like, oh, I got this for you. I think that is so nice. Like, I don't know, it just makes you. It, I feel like it makes you closer to the person. It opens you guys up more. Um, it's just nice, yeah. and it makes people happy. Uh huh. So I love the idea of gifting. I don't think it's we not really cool. have that out here either, which is different than a lot of other kind of places where gifts are important when you're visiting, right? Oh. Like, like a lot of places when we were talking about, I think Korea. Yeah, it seems like a lot of different places do the gift thing. I think because you're reading it, you know, it's telling you that, but I think if you were another culture and you were reading something about Americans, it would probably say that, oh, Americans give each other gifts. We don't give each other gifts when we just go to the house. Yeah, no. So they just do it going to, yeah, we don't yeah, do that. Like, we don't do that, y'all. It's like traditional, That's what you do. You bring, yeah. yeah, we don't do that, you yeah. guys. So, you guys, I'm going to read something now. It says that women are highly respected in society and are not expected to mix with members of the opposite sex except out of marriage or direct family relations. So, in my mind, that's telling me they are not to speak to men unless they're married to them or related to them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's completely. I don't know if they can't even say hello to them on the street. I don't know. You guys correct me. Let us know. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, yeah, there's one thing here that talks about direct eye contact. Okay, it also says that direct eye contact between men and women is not considered acceptable and must be avoided. So, does that mean that you cannot give your husband direct eye contact, your son, or is it just 
someone on the street you don't give direct eye contact to. I've heard that before. I think you gotta be somebody on the street. I've heard that before. I don't know how true it is. Uh, I think I've also heard that uh, with Muslim culture. I'm not sure if it has to do with that or not. But um, let us know, you guys, because we don't know. Right. Um, and I want to know, if, are these things more like older traditions or do people, do most people still follow them? Yeah. You know? And if you don't follow them, what happens? You know? Um, I'm sure things have changed over the years. Things right. have changed in America over the years. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, we don't know. Um, also, women are also expected to wear clothes that honor their modesty and are not revealing. Tight clothes and Western dresses are not welcomed in the society, at least in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. Headscarves for women are advisable. So I'm guessing they don't have to wear them, but they would prefer. The dress guidelines for women made me think about a lady who was on Project Wild Runway. She's Muslim and she wore the hair head scarf and very long clothes, didn't show body parts. But she said that they made um, lingerie or indoor wear and it barely had any covers on it. Mm -hmm. This was the only thing she made that was revealing. So everything, like, everything else, else was long. Yeah, everything else was covering, beautiful, but covering everything, head to toe. All of her other outfits. The challenge that they did where it was household wear, she had one strip right here, you guys, and the rest of it was sheer. So the judges was like, what? Wow. Where'd this come from? And she said, oh yeah, they get it cracking in the house. They was like, they may wear everything outside, but inside they, they take, you know. Oh, okay. It's very, you know. Oh, because yeah. they, because they, they probably like, Shh, I have to wear this outside, so I'm definitely not going to wear anything inside. Yeah, so if that's true, let us know. Yeah. I mean, this is from, what, you know, one point of view. But yeah, yeah so. She was the Muslim um, on uh, Project One Ring. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Her, her clothes were so beautiful. Oh, okay. So I think she went. That's nice because you don't see clothes for Muslim women. You don't see, or women from Afghanistan, or you know the ones where they cover. You don't see a lot. You don't see that in the mall. Yeah, I never like a that. line. Yeah, yeah, a line. So for her to come out with a line of that would be nice, yes. especially if they were all. It was all nice. And you should see her stuff. It is really nice. That's cool. Really good. Really nice. Um, let's see. Um, well, this is the last thing anyway. It says that. Oh, we already spoke on this, but food is generally served on the floor, on clothes made from various materials. So it's on clothes? It's okay. Is that true guys? Let us know. We're getting all this information from internet sources. So if we're wrong about anything, please correct us in the comments. Yes, please. Um, it says that marriages are three day lavish ceremonies. That's, that's so bomb. Would, right. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> that would be awesome. A three day wedding is beautiful. I feel like they have a lot of traditions with the wedding. Like, it's like um, the person goes to ask the family and if they say yes, then that, the family gives the other family chocolates. Like, it's very detailed. Really? You know, then three days later, you know. It's yeah, you guys, we don't have traditions like that, and that would be nice. Um, I'm sure we have things that that um, you guys probably would, would like to do. Maybe not. <laughs> but there are definitely things that we would like to do and wish that they were. Um, it doesn't even matter if it's American tradition or not. We can just make it our own tradition. Right. So, okay. So, our son's wedding is going to be a three-day event. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. I'm sorry, ours was kind of a three day event. That's true. It was a weekend. It says, do not eat with the left hand. Despicable. Sorry, guys. I'll do better next time. Always pass and receive things using your right hand. It will be a case of watch and learn. Okay. Food is usually scooped up into a ball at the tip of the fingers, then eaten. Oh, like this? I kind of did it a little. Yeah. So like... Yeah. Yep. But I bet you they know how to put it in their mouth without dropping any rice. <laughs> I'm sure. You have a rice grain on your lip. Other lip. Yeah. Um, leave your food... No, leave food on your plate. Otherwise, it will keep getting filled up again. Oh, so I guess oh. if you have an empty plate, they'll keep bringing more you more food. food. Mm -hmm. When so you're what, done, what? just leave a little bit. Oh, I was going to say, so what if you're actually full? Because they'll think you want more food. Okay. Oh, that's true because once everything is gone, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I, I didn't have enough. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, okay, that makes sense. So they make sure you get enough food to, to get you full, which that's is good. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always remove your shoes at the door if visiting someone's home. 
Okay. That's something that is a tradition out here too for some people. Right. Um, to simply keep their rugs keep clean. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Not sure why they do it, but that's why we do. It. <laughs> um. Oh, wait to be shown where to sit. Mm. I like this. I feel like you really have to learn how to go visit somebody's house. You yeah. know, like here we just walk in, <laughs> sit yeah. down. So if you guys think you're gonna go to another country, uh, and just go sit in someone's house, <laughs> like if you have a friend that's from Afghanistan, you think you're just gonna go sit in their house with your shoes? Don't. Make sure you know what you're doing before. I'm sure they're gonna tell you, but make sure you know what you're doing before you go. Don't just walk in somebody's house with dirty combat boots on, <laughs> right. eating all with the left hand, and mm -hmm. you know you can't without a gift. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Ooh, I'm stuck, you guys. I think it's even customary, and I think a lot. Of, some people do that, like to bring maybe the mother of the house some flowers or something. That would be nice. That's nice. That's very nice. nice. Everybody should do that, I especially so. if you're dating a girl and you're coming to her house. You want to bring her mother some flowers. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't have a mother, maybe bring her father uh, a baseball. I don't know. Theme some chicken wings. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed us trying Afghan food for the first time. We enjoyed it. All right, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let us know what you guys think. Tell us what you want us to try next. Oh, and hit that bell to get notifications of our newest uploads if you want to be notified. Yes, because we put out daily videos, you guys. Daily. Okay. So um, until next time, only good vibes. Peace.